hi it's Ian from Ranger today we're going to talk to you about our Hulk earth anchor systems we're in the beautiful southern highlands in New South Wales here and today we're going to give a demonstration of how we tie down uh, portable buildings which is a very common application for Hulk anchors okay so with our Hulk earth anchor systems Basically, there's two series of anchors. So we've got our larger anchors here. This is the HG series. So there's actually three anchors in the HG series. So we've got the HG100, the HG180, and there's also a larger anchor called a HG380. And the, the, the number comes from the width of the anchor. So this is 100 mil wide, this is 180 mil wide, and then we've got the 380 mil wide anchors. So we've got the H, HG, uh, HG series. So those anchors are typically got a braking load of around 17, uh, 170 kilonewtons, around 17 ton, and they will commonly have a holding capacity once they're in the ground of uh, around uh, 10 ton. So a very high capacity anchor. Then. We've got our next series of anchors, which are the smaller anchors. These are the H series. So we've got our H50, our H80, and our H110. And like the other anchors, the numbers come from the width. So the H50 is 50 mil wide, the H80 is 80 mil wide, and the H110 is 110 mil wide. And then we've also got our smaller anchors, which is the HP35 and the HP25. So. So today we're going to tie down this portable building. Uh, it's a very common application for Hulk anchors. We're going to use the H80 anchor today. And the equipment we'll be using is our, the anchor obviously. We'll have our drive steels. We've got our 30 kilo Hilti breaker hammer here. And then we've also got our anchor locker. So what happens is the drive steels are inserted into the back of the anchor. Um, this shank goes on the end of the drive steel and into the hammer. Uh, we're going to be using the 30 kilo electric hammer, but you can use any heavy duty type of breaker hammer as long as the shank fits. Uh, pneumatic hammers or hydraulic hammers are also very good. And then once the anchor's in the ground and we've removed our drive steel from the anchor, we also then use our uh, PT45 anchor locker. So this is the device we use to rotate the anchor and lock it into position. It has a gauge on here so we know exactly the load that's been applied to the anchor and it's been proof loaded to. We've got our gear set up now to drive the anchor. So we've got our breaker hammer. This is the TE3000 AVR from Hilti. It's a 30 kilo electric heavy duty breaker hammer. So we've got our drive steel installed into the hammer shank here. And then, then the drive steel is into the anchor. So for this particular portable building, we'll tie this anchor off to this uh, lift point here, or tie down point here. So we're going to drive the anchor in in this position here, quite close to the tie down point. We just need to move, uh, leave enough room just so that we can get the anchor locker in here. We can lock the anchor into position and then we'll uh, tie it off to the anchor point here after the anchor's uh, ready to go. So we've driven our anchor in. You can see here, this is what we call an open end anchor. So it's driven in and we'll be tying it off to the building. But before we do that, the next step is to lock the anchor off. So when we're locking it off, it'll this jacking system, the PT45, it'll pull back on the anchor. It'll rotate into position and also lock it off at the same time. So the next step is to tie the anchor off to the building. So the anchor's been locked. We had a, about 15 kilonewton or one and a half ton on this particular one. 
So we've got the lifting point or attachment point here. So it's basically a simple case of, we're just gonna wrap the wire around. We're gonna pull as much tension on and we're gonna uh, grip it up with the wire rope grips. We've tied the building off now. We've completed the tie off. So there's, this one's come up pretty well. We've got good tension between the building and the anchor. So with our wire rope grips, it's good rigging practice to always make sure the saddle of the grip is on the live rope. And then also we want to have the grips about six rope diameters apart. We just use an impact wrench to rattle the grips up nice and tight and we'll cut off this excess rope. We'll just cut it off about here so it's a nice neat job when it's finished. Yeah, so that's an overview of the Hulk anchors. Uh, but at Ranger, we can supply only, we can supply and install. If you elect to do the installation yourself, we can dry hire the equipment to you as well. So for more information about Hulk, Hulk anchors, get in contact or go to ranger.com.au.